guys, I'm Laura Vitali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm going to show you how to make my prosciutto and ricotta calzone. Oh, is this so delicious. It's easy and simple to do. Let me take you over the ingredients so we can get started. You're going to need some pizza dough, and I'll talk about this in just a second. Some prosciutto, of course you're going to need ricotta, and this is some just mozzarella that's been shredded, and you want to use a dried mozzarella versus the wet kind that comes in a little tube, because the wet mo mozzarella has got too much moisture. So, always a good tip. Now the first thing you want to do is get your oven preheated to 400. Second thing you want to do is take a baking sheet, line it with parchment paper. Now for the pizza dough, you can either buy it at your local supermarket, or you can go into your favorite pizza place and ask them to buy a bowl of dough, or you can go on lauraandthekitchen.com, get my recipe for pizza dough, it comes out perfect every single time. You can make batches of it all in one spot, and then just once they've risen, just freeze them for whenever you want to use it. That's what I do, that's why I can make pizza and strombolis and calzones anytime I want, because I always have some on hand. Okay, now, what we're basically gonna do right now, is roll the dough out. You can do this with a rolling pin, of course. I just do it with my hands. I've got a lot of experience working with pizza, so this will work just fine. Now, what I'm gonna do is roll this out until it's about a 16 inch circle. Now remember, you can do this with a rolling pin if you're not comfortable doing it by hand. And now all I'm going to do is just stretch it out. That looks good. You can always stretch pizza dough. It's perfectly fine. It's going to make a big one. I promise. Okay, so now you're going to work on half of the dough. And this is how simple this is. You're going to take your shredded mozzarella. I'm going to just work on the edge closest to, to me, just because it's easier. To that, you're going to add in some ricotta. I like to use a good amount of whole milk ricotta because remember, the ricotta is a very big compon component in this recipe, so don't skimp. But, you know, with calzones, with pizza, with strombolis, use whatever you have on hand. It is just the kind of thing that you can just use anything you want with. So, now the prosciutto, it's been thinly sliced and I just tear it with my fingers. I already teared some up, so it's like in bite-sized bite pieces. <laughs> and just scatter it all over the top. And now, if you don't have prosciutto, you can use regular ham with this. Um, I don't know that I would use, you know, s turkey, as far as like deli meat turkey. You can try, I've never done it. But you can use pepperoni, salami, you name it, it's delicious. All right, so now that you have that done, you're basically gonna fold this over like a half moon shape. And then you just want to seal it nice and tight. Now this is a little too much extra dough for me, so I can just cut some of it out. And then I'll show you how I like to crimp it. I just kind of go all over the sides, just like that, and just pinch everything together. I worked in a pizza place in a restaurant with my dad, so like I said, I've got a lot of experience making pizzas and just working with dough in general. So, but it's really, never be frightened because it's super simple. All right, now that you have that done, you want to make a few slits because you want the air to escape. You don't want to form big air bubbles. Get out of the way. Put that down and now pick it up. Put it down, and this is going to go into your preheated oven at 400 for about 25 to 30 minutes or until it's golden, bubbly, crispy, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. My calzone baked for about a half hour at 400, and now I've let it cool for about 10 minutes, and I should let it cool a little bit longer, but I want to show you what the inside looks like. Oh, I'm just going to cut this little piece off. Oh, yum. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm! One of my favorites. It is one of my favorites and one of the most delicious combinations ever. Ricotta, gooey, gooey mozzarella, and salty prosciutto. Heaven. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. Go to www.laurainthekitchen.com so you can get the recipe. I'll see you next time. Bye!
I can see you. Do something. You're shaking your head.